It's 10 trivia questions on Guitar Hero songs. I'll give you the name of the song. You tell me the artist from the original Guitar Hero. This is Trivia with Buds. What it be and welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out the show and telling a friend who loves trivia to give it a listen. I was just looking at a website called timeanddate.com, and they list all the crazy daily holidays that pop up where it's like National Pizza Day, National Banana Cream Pie Day, National Fart Day, and stuff like that. And uh, I was just going to let you know, if you're listening at the time of the posting of this episode, March... 20th is today, and it's proposal day. I don't know if that means the most people should propose for weddings or it means like a proposal is due for work. It just says proposal day. March 21st is absolutely incredible kid day, where I guess you celebrate your kids um, that are incredible, or it's also common courtesy day. So hold the door for somebody. And Friday, March 22nd says international goof off day. So you can just goof off this Friday according to this website. <laughs> if you didn't know those, now you know them, and uh, you can check it out at timeanddate.com. Before we get to our episode on Guitar Hero songs, where you will name the artist based on the song that I give you from the Guitar Hero video game, which is like 20 years old already, which is crazy, uh, we have our letter here, which is M. In speaking of um, guitars, we have musical instruments, Things found in a desk and animals in books or movies. That's musical instruments, things found in a desk, and animals in books or movies, all starting with the letter M. Listen for my three at the end of the episode, along with a fun fact of the day. We're all warmed up. We're ready to go. And we're diving into Guitar Hero Song Trivia. Here we go. It's Guitar Hero Songs. Question number one. Name the artist on all of these. We have more than a feeling. Number one, more than a feeling. Number two, fat lip. Number two, fat lip. Number three, ace of spades. Ace of spades. Number four, I want to be sedated. I want to be sedated. Number five, no one knows. No one knows. Number six, sharp dressed man, sharp dressed man. Number seven, you've got another thing coming. You've got another thing coming. Number eight, take me out, take me out. Number nine, stellar. Number nine, Stellar. Number 10, Iron Man. Iron Man. And the bonus for two points, Guitar Hero Songs, Texas Flood. Texas Flood. Those are all your questions on Guitar Hero Songs. You to name the artist from the first Guitar Hero game songs. We'll be back with the answers after this. We have returned with the answers to Guitar Hero songs. Let's see how everybody did. Then we'll go into our fact of the day and our categories letter of M. But right now, number one, more than a feeling was Boston. Number two, Fat Lip, some 41, who said they're retiring as of January 2025 will be their last shows together. Number three, Ace of Spades, Motorhead. Number four, I Want to Be Sedated, The Ramones. Number five, No One Knows, Queens of the Stone Age. They have some jams if you like guitar. Number six, Sharp Dressed Man, ZZ Top, playing April 1st in Johnson City, Tennessee at the Martin Center, right down the street from my house. Tickets are 100 bucks. If I go, I'd be going by myself on a Monday night. Should I see two out of three members of ZZ Top in Johnson City? Still trying to decide. Number seven, You've Got Another Thing Coming, Judas Priest. Number eight, Take Me Out, Franz Ferdinand. Saw them live once. Number nine, Stellar Incubus was the band who I've also seen live. Number 10, Iron Man, Black Sabbath. And number 11, Texas Flood, Stevie Ray Vaughn. 
There you have it, Guitar Hero songs. Maybe we'll do that again with one of the Guitar Hero sequels at some point, or Legends of Rock, uh, or Warriors of Rock, which I'm looking at right now on Nintendo Wii in my nerd cave in my basement. We have our fact of the day, which is about Ruth Handler, creator of the Barbie doll, got her idea when she saw her daughter Barbara playing with paper dolls and giving them adult roles. Most of the dolls in the market were for infants at that time, so she came up with Barbie. Your letter was M, musical instruments. I'm going to say a mandolin. Things found in a desk. How about markers? And animals in books or movies? No theatrical movies or probably books, but I'll say TV movies and TV series. That's Muttley from uh, Wacky Races, Muttley. Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend. Thanks for leaving iTunes five-star reviews. And we'll be right back with more trivia in days to come. Cheers. 